Today we are going to talk about workflows. Workflows are an important method of automation in Zoho CRM and it is typically used to automate repetitive things that you do uh, and tasks that you do and help you make sure that they get done without any interaction. If we come into Zoho and we go to the setup page, you come over to workflows under automation and you can see that we have a whole list of existing uh, workflows right here. Just to give you an idea before we dive in on what a workflow is, when you set up a workflow, you start with the when, which is essentially when the rule will be executed. Next, you have the conditions. What are the conditions that will make this action be, uh, be taken? And then the next thing is the action that will be taken. So in this example, it's called Big Deal Rule, and this happens to be one of the out-of-the-box workflows that Zoho CRM comes with. So the when here is this will be executed when an opportunity is created or edited. Then the conditions are that the amount is over $1,000 and the probability is 100%, which typically is tied to the stage being closed one. And then the instant action here is an email notification called Big Deal Alert. And if we click on this, you can see that this is going to um, this is going to the CEO role, um, copying somebody else. And then the template that's being used is um, just a notification here sharing that the opportunity that using merge fields, the opportunity name is here. Um, and just letting everybody know about this deal that was won. Um, and then you, you, know, you have that. So this is just an example before we dive in of what a workflow is, just to get you started. So a few things to know about workflows as we go back to this main page. The first thing to know is that workflows are module specific. So you can see here we have all modules, and you can see that there are different uh, workflows available for the different modules. And these are all created. Um, really only the big deal rule is the one that is out of the box. So when you're in, when you uh, are using it, just to give you an idea, here's a welcome one. So this one is whenever a contact is created, then an email notification will go out. And that is a welcome email that will go out to the contact. So now let's walk through by uh, creating a rule and walking through what's involved in setting up a workflow. Uh, first, you're going to select your module, as I mentioned. We will um, use accounts here, and then I'm going to say accounts in PA. We're going to do something related to the accounts in PA. Next. And now here, when do you want to execute this rule? Your choices are on a record action, which would be create, create or edit, edit or delete. If we go to create or edit, you can see that this will, um, you have the option to repeat this workflow whenever the account is edited, or it could just be if you don't check this box the first time that the um, record is edited. Uh, you have edit here, and with edit, again, you have that repeat it whenever it's edited. Then you can get even more specific here when any field gets modified or when specific fields get modified. You can then select the field and even say what it's modified to or you can just say modified at all. And then you have uh, delete as well. So those are your record actions that you can um, execute. Your actions, the actual um, instant actions or scheduled actions when we get further down will vary, um, particularly with the delete, but for all of these others, they should be um, pretty similar. So I will leave this as um, create or edit. Uh, actually, before I go on, so then your other option is on date or time. Oops. Here, so on date or time, you can, if you have a date time field in your um, in your account record, since we're in the accounts, you can choose um, which one. And if you can say, then if we take created time, um, the execution date will be um, 
you know, sometime it can be on or it can be sometime after the created um, record. You can then say that the execution time is the same as a created time, and that, or you can define that time more, and you can determine how often that recurs. This is a less used uh, 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 when scenario for workflows, but it is something available, and we will have other videos that dive into this. The other thing you can do is um, based on a score, and those scoring rules um, are the lead scoring rules you have. There's other scoring rules that you can put together in Zoho, and again, that will be covered in another video, but you can trigger that. For now, I'm just going to go back here and do um, create or edit, can repeat, click next. And then you can decide, will this apply to all accounts, or will it apply to only accounts with certain criteria? And since I named this account in PA, what I'm going to do is um, billing state is um, PA. And just to, I'm just going to, we'll make, I don't know if anything's going to come up there. So that's my, my criteria since this is something I want to do. And then I have my choice. I can do a number of different in, instant actions. I can do a field update. If I do a field update, I can choose to update a field. Um, in the accounts module or in one of these other modules as well. Jobs in here is a uh, custom module that was created, but you do have your option of updating other fields, not just in the accounts. Um, and if you wanted to do that, you would name this, um, just call it account update. You would say which field, which one you're doing, I'm going to do it in an account. And then you'd have for that module all of the different um, all of the different fields, and then you can pick which one um, that you're going to pick. I'm just going to make this up right now and say shipping state is PA. Um, I did get a warning. This field is already a pro uh, um, used for something else, um, but I'm still going to save it as well. And you can see account update here. You can add multiple actions, and I will just quickly go over what these are. I'm going to actually delete this one. Um, and just show you the next one is assign owner. So what you can do is that you can, based on this, you can assign owner of, uh, uh, in this case, again, you can do it for the account, for the deal, the jobs, which is that custom module, or the, or the deals, which is another module we had in here. You can select the user based on a category, which would be the users, um, where you'd actually you know, select their name, the roles, you know, which would be uh, the roles you've defined. You could do it off of groups if you've defined groups and user fields as well um, based on who created it or, or something like that. Um, I'll just do users and do us. Um, you can also do it based on users that meet certain conditions. Um, so maybe you want us to up assign this to all of your users in um, Pennsylvania. And if you're using more than one, a criteria that could be met by more than one user, it will apply in a round robin. You can also use it, your, your um, assignment rules. If you had assignment rules set up, you can set the user based on that. You can choose whether to send the email notification to the owner. You can also choose that you're only going to assign to people that are signed in at the time that you had this um, kick in. And then you can choose if the related records um, for the account should also transfer, and that would be these are the uh, related records that you have, and then you would save and associate it. Uh, the next one is tags. You can add or remove tags based on the workflow. Maybe in this case you want to add a tag that is um, PA or something like that, so you can do that. Email notification. This is where you can create an email notification and you would choose who that email would go to. Uh, you would choose the template of what that email is. And if you don't have that template created, you can then go ahead and create that template. Um, and then you would be able to, to send it. If we were to select a template, um, that's where you could see here, I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of this. Um, the account email. And then here now you can see, you can add in the from as well. You can make it so this is always coming from a set owner 
a, a set user or um, the record owner. So this always comes from the record owner. Or if you have any organizational emails, you can set it up from that as well. In addition, um, you can assign tasks. You, so if you know this is PA, maybe you want to assign a task follow up next time you go to PA. You can define and create the different tasks that you do. When you create a new task, um, the, you can set it based on the trigger date, which is always going to refer to this when for the workflow, the trigger date, the created time of the record, last activity time, and then you can set that trigger. Set a, status, a default status if you want a priority. Select um, users. It says here if you do not assign the task to a user, it'll be automatic, automatically assigned to the record owner. And then you can choose whether to notify or remind the assignee and then add any description that you want. The next thing is create a record. So what this is saying is that if the billing state is PA, maybe you want to create um, you know, some other type of record uh, and you can create either another account. In this case, let's do opportunity. And then you have the option of customizing here what you want that record to be. If you want it to be one of your other layouts, um, if you want the owner to be you know, a user or, or um, somebody else, um, you can do that. Um, you can set the opportunity name, the account name. Um, you'd probably want that to be filled in. Um, and what you can do in a lot of these cases, you can, um, if you see here, type um, the pound sign to insert merge fields. So in this case, I can, um, I can say you want the account name to be here, the parent account. In the account name, what I can do here in the opportunity name, I could say, you know, opportunity four, do the pound sign, and then I can put the account name. So it'll cu start customizing um, this as well. And you have the pipeline, the stage, all of these different things. And what this will do when you're creating the record, all of the items that you have that are required will show up here along with the basic required fields that Zoho requires to set up, in this case, an opportunity. The other um, option you have is a webhook. Now, a webhook is going to be related to a third-party system that you want to get updated or to have some type of action with um, based on the trigger and, and the, the uh, workflow requirements being met. And then finally, you can assign a custom function. And with this, Zoho comes with a lot of custom functions, which are essentially codes that will assign, uh, that will do different things that you wanted to do. And usually custom functions are used when a basic functionality is not available in Zoho, and you can set up your custom function to be able to um, trigger when you have your um, um, work. Now that we've talked about the function, you can see you have a number of different actions that you can take here. The other thing that you can do um, we're just going to leave one of these here, just so we have something here associated. Um, in addition, let's say you have a pick list. Like in this case, the billing state is PA. Let's say there's another action you want to take if the billing state is, um, you know, say New Jersey, or if the meet certain conditions or your account does not meet the above conditions. So we'll use that one. So this is basically saying now we can define what's going to happen when the billing state is not PA. And if we do next here, you can see that we can go ahead and we can um, use the same action. We can create a new update and we can we can add what we want to add here. Um, for now, just for illustrative purposes, I'm just going to put the same thing in here. And then you can click Save and you now have your new workflow. Um, that is really on the basics of using workflows. Uh, once you have your list of workflows here, one of the things you want to be understand is that you have to you want the workflows to work in a certain order. So if we go to opportunities, we have these two opportunities and I mean these two workflows. And if there was something important about the order that they trigger in, you can go in and reorder and then move these around as well. 
In addition, you can click on um, the, the, the red here, and what that's going to do is give you a summary view. So I'm in the Opportunities module right here, and this is going to give you an overview of what's going to happen um, for opportunities and what, which uh, workflows you have in place and what's going to trigger them. You can then do the drop down. For instance, you have leads. So you have here is a lead um, based on a record action when it's created, um, and all this will happen. Then you also have um, this one, the welcome rule, and all this will happen. And then you can just make sure that it all makes sense for you and that you want all of these different actions to happen. So that's another important part to know about um, workflows. Go to the list of rules here. Again, I'm in the leads module. What you can also do, see, you can also filter based on um, create to see just what, what are the different workflows in the module that are impacted by create, um, modified, uh, and then you can see what actions, and you can always, um, you know, that way you can understand what is going to happen with, uh, with your different workflows. Uh, so this has really um, been an introduction to what workflows are, and we are going to do future videos that give you a little bit more in-depth on each of the different types of workflows that you can do. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please email us at support at marksgroup.net. You can also go visit our website at marksgroup.net and see all of our different uh, blogs to, to answer some of your questions, as well as you can go to our events page and you will see there that we are regularly holding a uh, training for CRM admins in different levels. So please go there and visit and see what we have there for you.